Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Budget and Savings with B. I'm Vonda Sharon, and on today's episode, how to save money as a college student. Mm -hmm. Cause it is back to school time and you guys are out there and I definitely know how hard it is because what? Just 20 years ago, 20, mm -hmm, I was a broke, struggling college student myself. And I know, I know exactly how it feels. But you guys, I tip my head off to you because y'all have it a lot worse. Because back then, we only had flip phones and you guys now have social media, TikTok, TikTok, Snapchat, and all that. So y'all have a lot more pressure. But are you ready for these tips? Because if you apply these tips today, today, not tomorrow, this will definitely give you a jump on your future. I appreciate your time. Let's go. Number one, avoid impulse buying. That is easier said than done. Okay. I know it's easier said than done because what I struggled with is for years. So that's why I'm talking to you guys early. I didn't have no one telling or teach that they were telling, but they didn't teach me. They didn't give me steps or show me how. They didn't give me any tools. They just was talking. Want, want, want. Like, I need to help. But it's, it's not about me. Impulse shopping, this is what I've done now. So let, let your good auntie help you out, okay? So if you see something and you really want it, ask yourself, one, how many hours at work will this require? Okay? Ask yourself that. And if it's a whole week's worth, that's going to be very tough. Okay? Number two, walk away from the item. If you still want it in 24 hours, once you get home, the urge usually goes away. So then don't worry about it. Okay? So those are some really good tips because I'm telling you, they just did a bunch of talking to me and then and then tell me any tools. I gave you some tools, okay? Number two, shop discount stores. I have seen several people, especially on TikTok, go to Goodwill and the rest of them stores, thrift stores, and come out with name brand stuff. So definitely look on TikTok, see how they're doing it, and realize that your greater is later. Because right now, you're trying to get knowledge up here so you can get the money in your hand, okay? And if your friends or that girl does not like you because you don't have Air Jordans or whatever, she ain't the one for you, okay? Don't worry about her. You, you'll meet the right one. Number three. Take advantage of your student discount. Like, duh. Take advantage of it. Don't be ashamed that you, you know, have a, a discount. Uh, I'm a student. Let me tell y'all something. I used that student discount card even 10 years after I was out of college, okay? I was like 32. Yeah, I still used it because I had went back to school even like years later and I had a new student discount and I still kind of looked similar to that. So I'm not saying you do that. I was just sharing my experience, but take advantage of those discounts. Okay. Where are we? Set aside an emergency fund. If you're like me, you got a refund or what they called an overpayment, okay? Put some of that aside for an emergency. You are gonna be drunk one day or one night, break or lose your phone. You're gonna have a flat. You're gonna need a new battery, okay? 
So all of these things are going to happen to you now and in the future. So go ahead and set aside an emergency fund. So let's say you get $1,000 back. Put at least $300 aside. Put it under your mattress. Maybe you'll set it and forget it. Or put it in a true savings account and just know your car is going to break down. You are going to lose your phone. And hey, you're going to need that money. Get a part-time job. They have lots of jobs on campus for students, okay? So you can get a work study or you can work off campus, not too far from campus. But that way you'll know, because by now you're a student, so that means you're more than minimum wage because now you have some college experience. So you should be at the 12 to $20 range as a student because you're in college, okay? So you can definitely do that. And now there are so many ways to make money that you don't even have to have a traditional job. You can, you know, do videos on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and make lots of money. Lots of money. Um, you can start a part-time YouTube channel. You can become a notary and become a mobile notary so that you can, you know, make it more money um, being mobile. And then you can become a loan signing agent. All of these are careers where you don't have someone that's typically your boss person. Because you are going to have good times on the weekend and oversleep because of hangovers. So definitely look into social media, okay? Get a credit card with restrictions for a student. Do not be out here getting an American Express, Express black card with an unlimited balance and then be filing for bankruptcy by the time you graduate from college. That is a big no-no. And if those credit card companies are still coming to the school, don't get those either. Make sure that you Google uh, a credit card for student because it will have limitations and restrictions. And we still need limitations and restrictions while we're still young and developing and learning how to be responsible. Okay? Okay. Automate your savings. Because even I now don't want to put money in my savings, okay? Let's just be honest. So automate it. Once it's automated, then I have no problem with letting it do its thing because I have set up a dollar amount that um, is good for me. And that's what I do. I automate my savings because it's a lot easier. Because I have the discipline now to do it, but I didn't have the discipline for many decades. Probably two decades, I didn't. Set up a checking and savings account. Please be strategic and, you know, do your research on those savings accounts and checking accounts. See if there is an opening deposit. See if there's a monthly balance. How much is the monthly service fee? How much is the ATM fee? Try your best to find one that has free everything because that is how banks make millions, if not billions or trillions of dollars in bank fees, okay? So make sure that you go in the local college town that you're in and take that student ID and say you need a student account because then most likely, because when I was in school, they gave us a free everything because they understood that I probably wouldn't have you know, that many direct deposits, which will be like my student refund. And then back then they didn't offer direct deposit, but I'm sure they offer direct deposit with your paychecks. Now, establish some goals, savings goals, okay? Whether it's to go on a trip or to eventually have your own apartment once you graduate college, because you will definitely need furniture. You will need all kinds of stuff. Last but not least, create a budget. I cannot stress this enough. 
if you don't create a budget your paycheck will just go and you'll be like where the hell did my paycheck go if you create a budget now while you're still relatively young and once you graduate college this will definitely be beneficial to you because you then will know how to manage your money make sure you thumbs up this video like comment and subscribe and share this video i'll see you in the next one bye guys